The Wisconsin man serving a life sentence for killing a Springfield woman is hoping for a new trial. A jury convicted Nicholas Godijan of murder for the stabbing death of Dee Dee Blanchard in 2015. Francis Watson is live in our newsroom with the latest legal moves. Francis. Yeah, Paul Maria, Nicholas Godijan is serving life without parole plus 25 years for armed criminal action for Dee Dee Blanchard's murder. An appeals hearing last year actually denied his request to overturn his conviction based on poor representation and a diminished mental capacity. Now he's hoping a panel of three judges will reconsider his conviction. He's hoping to obtain a new trial. Nicholas Godijan confessed to stabbing Dee Dee Blanchard to death in her Springfield home in 2015. In 2018, a Greene County jury found him guilty of first-degree murder. Godijan was sentenced to life without parole plus 25 years for armed criminal action. Last year, during his conviction appeal hearing, his attorneys didn't argue his innocence. Okay, I'll admit it. I did actually... Uh, but rather claim that Godijan is not capable of understanding what he did due to his mental capacity and that his public defenders didn't do enough during his criminal trial. Mr. Godijan was alleging that the only reason that he was found guilty in his jury trial was because he had ineffective assistance of trial counsel. His defense called on a neuropsychologist to try and prove that Gypsy Blanchard, Dee Dee's daughter, put him up to the crime. I only used one card that I have over you, Gypsy. She's set to be released this year after serving less than 10 years for second-degree murder for her role. This week, his current public defender, Tyler Coyle, filed yet another appeal on Godijan's behalf. His last trial, he argued that his mental state uh, did not meet the requirements for first-degree murder, and so the jury should have only found him guilty of second-degree murder. Coyle says it'll be up to a panel of three judges to decide if Godijan will get another day in court. If he were to get a new trial, then uh, it would start all the way over, and, and uh, there wouldn't be any previous finding of first degree or second degree it would just have to go back to a new trial now there is no time frame in which a decision could be made the court can take as much time as necessary to consider his request reporting live in the newsroom i'm francis watson thank you francis